Okay, so before we start today's show, we'd like to introduce you to one of our sponsors and our first sponsor on the show, which is... Uh, do What You Want Clothing. As you see, they do some fancy kit. New company starting out of Belfast. Yeah, set up for all you ravers to dress yourselves for going out to all these events that are being put on. To do... Our event, Adaro. <laughs> <laughs> the bat. <laughs> yeah. do uh, caps, bucket hats, hoodies... Sent us a nice wee pair of fucking sliders. I didn't think I would like sliders until I started wearing them. Good job. Great so, great material, great quality. It's a local Belfast company, so please go and check them out and let them know you heard from them from us, Phase 2. And, uh, yeah, you'll be seeing us rocking about in this gear. It's actually pretty good quality. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting getting some more of their new stuff. The new T-shirt they have coming out is pretty cool. Like. Yeah, they sent us a, a preview of some of the, the new line that they have coming out. So, uh, yeah, it'll definitely be something to check out. We'll put the link down in the, the comments and all that jazz. But, yeah, go onto the site, check them out. They're just getting set up now so you can have a browse. And, uh, yeah, let them know we sent you. Okay, so let's get into this week's show. What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another EP of the NFT show. <laughs> He's so unprofessional. Oh, mate, it's just what goes on behind the scenes. Everything's just so seamless and cut together, but they don't actually see us just sitting here talking like tits. Oh, mate, talking heads away. Just released our event there, too. Yep. Literally just released it five minutes ago, and here we are recording. <laughs> was it that we delayed us shooting? Uh, Is this distracting you having the laptop there? No, no, yourself? I was just making sure we were recording, because normally we'll use it all on the... Uh, the, the big studio computer. machine, I was like, oh shit, that didn't push the button. <laughs> well, that's that's the first thing to check off the list this week. As you can all now see, things are a bit different. We're in business. We've been we've been threatening this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you've done a you've done a swell job, man. Uh, I mean, it turned out really good. It's so inspiring walking in, and it? it just does feel like a spaceship. I've seen a few people making comments about that online. Yeah, it does. That's what it's like when and even you're even you sit down there, you're like, yes. Let's fucking do this. Well, that's, that's it. It's, it. As you say, it feels professional. It gives you a bit more of an oomph. You're not just going to sit in some wee box room or something. You actually are sitting there surrounded with your purpose. Yeah. Did you see the video I put? I was like, I see loads of people say you don't need uh, you don't need a spaceship studio to make good music, but I'm making ship music comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's true. <laughs> Although, to be fair, but that, that's something we have always said to people. It's like, whenever you're starting out, you don't need all the glitz and the glamour. All you need is a laptop. And your That's ideas. What we used for years, we used your laptop for fucking God knows how many years. Yeah, I think at least a good five or six. Ah, uh, and easy. we still we still do, but not not to the extent that we used uh, to use it. Like we lived off my laptop, I but know. now because things have progressed the way that they have. You do need to go with that extra mile. That's that's then what separates the difference between doing it as a hobby and doing it as a career. That's it. You're right, and it's definitely turning into a flourishing career now. So thank you everyone for your support. Yeah, thanks. We're trying our best, aren't we? Like, we're but genuinely are trying our best. Just two old men trying uh, to find their way <laughs> in the world. I know. But I think everything's clicked into gear after the pandemic, actually. Um, yeah, well, that, that was the big worry, because everything was about to take off, and then COVID happened, and then all the places that we had bookings for all went bust because of COVID. So you were like, shit, have we now lost this uh, momentum uh, that we would work so hard to build? Like but, yeah, it's all it all seems to be taking it along nicely. I know. Really excited about this event. I alluded to it on the stream I done last night that uh, we says we were never going to do an event again. Yeah. And here we are. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I've been very, very vocal about the fact that I didn't want to do nights. I think both on this podcast and uh, at gigs. It's just... It was this podcast that ended up getting us to do it. <laughs> which was ironic because the whole point of doing the podcast was so we couldn't be fucked in the night. <laughs> But yes, it's it's good that it's now been announced. We'll we'll see the feedback that it gets. The feedback from the first initial one with the early bird selling out. I what, like even two hours. Hour announced. Yeah, that was no. It was late. It was half an hour. The, the first one was bought at like ten past ten past seven. The last one was bought at seven thirty three. Right. Okay. So obviously, I didn't put. I wasn't in the house. I left, and then I came back and checked it, and they were all gone. And I was like, "Fuck!" But that was like two hours later. Aye. So, right, okay. It was actually way, it was like a half an hour all in. Well, the all you keen beans, thank you. You will definitely not be fucking disappointed. I know. And if you if you the VIP tickets are good value, I think uh, twenty quid plus booking fee, and you get your own bar. So I think there's only fifty VIP people out in. Your own bar, queue jump, 
the full heap uh, sofas and all the sit down on, so you don't you're not stand all night. It's your own wee yeah, private area. Yeah, much sitting whenever we're fucking on. No, fucking definitely not. <laughs> and then obviously we've got two young lads kicking the night off. That we're playing back to back. We wanted to get both of them on. We couldn't pick which one to get on, so we decided just if they wanted to play back to back, they could play back to back. Yeah. So we could put both of them on, and let them in the side, and we said, listen, you can take what a half hour each or something. Or you can take. You can play back to back, and they're like, "No, we'll play back to back." Yeah. And this is their first gig, so excited to get the boys on. The they're doing really well, and the production. The, the productions side. are class. They they send us three tracks, and the the sound really good. The ideas are there. The signs are there. It's yeah. just get them fucking finished. Ah, uh, it's you just need to finish them, but you're on the right track. So yeah. I'm pleased, and I'm sure you are too, that we can give you your your uh yeah. first gig out. And uh, then obviously subversion, poppy jumper, fucking uh, jumps, j- jump stage sort of thing, uh, lads. You you will en- <laughs> you'll enjoy that for an act, Belfast. Uh, I something you just haven't seen. Check, check the guys out if you want to get a preview of it on on all their socials. But yeah, they they they've got a, a fantastic stage show that they uh, like to put on. So they're the oldest act in hard dance, I would say. Uh, I think I think that. <laughs> and then obviously chaos rollers, which is uh, GSMP Raw Breeze. That's the Logic Boys. Uh, they're co-promoting this with us. Jason yep. is, and then obviously ourselves, which we try. Like we're there, not that good. Like, we're one, not as good as the rest. One other artist, I think, is on on the lineup. Is that is it, yeah. is it, is it a Dutch fellow or something? So? I don't know. Uh, he's, I don't know where he's from. Adaro. He's opening it actually. He's going to be opening. Uh, right. <laughs> so the the so guy he, has his, fir- his first fucking uh, uh, set. <laughs> but no, that's like, a good. That's a good book, and I feel uh, he hasn't been here in a few years. No. And Doing really, really good in the scene now between uh, them and obviously or him and on his own and obviously doing guns for hire as well. Uh, yeah. Absolutely killing it at the minute. And he, he he lost his hearing or something back a few years ago, isn't uh, it? it was the same thing whenever do you remember whenever we started out a few years and did your ears yeah. went a bit, I think it was something like that. His was his was bad, but I, I remember going I remember because he was only like really breaking through. Yeah. And like I was like, fuck, that's so, so sad. And it happened to me. What, what happened to me? I, mean, I was driving Aye, but down the road. Was, you're not playing at Dutch festivals oh, every weekend. <laughs> I was driving down the road and I felt like I had water in the ear. Yeah. And then it just went. And then obviously tinnitus or tinnitus, whatever, however you pronounce it, after that. And it's still there. But the, see that it, uh, I could hear, but it felt like just like it was constantly water in my ear. Oh, it, feel, it feels like everything's underwater. That's whenever me on you went and got fucking earplugs. We're like, fuck this, we can't be, uh, yeah, we can't be losing the hearing. Like, <laughs> well, that's it. Th- thank you. I suppose for if you, oh, if you yeah. didn't go semi deaf, I'm already semi deaf. We already know that oh, semi deaf, semi blind, stupid <laughs> as fuck. Fuck sake, but I, I was just, I was scurry out. So God knows if he was going to have to ask him about that. Oh, we'd be level. Maybe do you want to come on the podcast, the dog? <laughs> I feel like this has just turned into a running joke, man. It's more like how many people can Sergi ask to come on the podcast rather than actually getting people to uh, come on to the podcast. Well, there was a few, like there were see, see, here. just as well for the guys out there and fucking listening and viewing land. It's not that anybody's actually said no to us. A lot of people have said yes. It's just trying to get the time that works with We're everybody, everyone, which uh, is the problem. We uh, we do this religiously on a Monday. And that's it. It's, it's, it's trying to just get time to their free for everyone, so they are coming. Watch this space. Uh, I was talking to uh, oh, I'm not even say his name, but he said he'll come on. <laughs> one of the people I was talking to, uh, that, yeah, that I was, ever, it was uh, all ever. on Facebook actually. It was no, uh, Neil McClellan, cool FM. Yeah, he was saying about the studio and all. And I said, You have was to come and see it. And he was like, Oh, 100%. He's like, sure, you want to do a podcast? And he just said, 100%. Mate. So we're getting, we're getting Neil McClellan. That'll be a good one to oh, do. He, he can teach us how to broadcast, probably. <laughs> <laughs> So where are we going wrong here? Uh-huh. Like, what, what what advice would you give us here? You got no fans. <laughs> you want some? I'll give it you. <laughs> you got no fans. That's where you're going wrong, lads. Do you, remember, you got no fans. Remember that cover? Uh, oh, the Wellstone Raider. I just got pissed at a fucking football match and uh-huh. slobbered at someone and became an internet uh-huh. sensation. So me and you need to start doing. I told you, mate. What we, we talked about before. We need to start being dicks or something and get you no know, like a. Uh, just a viral clip so people know who we are because once people know who we are they're like fuck these guys are great they're getting them in the end of the circle yep so if everyone listening tells one friend and tell them to tell one friend it's like fucking multi-level marketing there uh-huh. right? Andrew Tate <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking phase two pyramid scheme uh-huh. for followers fuck's sake if you bring one friend and you bring one friend you bring one friend we'll be rich and you'll be loving it I love how you started trying to promote our event and now you're just like fuck telling them to come to our night just you come and like phase two, that's all you need to do. My phone's are lighting up here. I know, that's why I just put mine in silent and just 
we'll worry about we it. We talked about this before. I can't believe you don't put your phone sale all the time. I just forever on silent. I have to have it on loud for my... She can't hear it anyway, so it's basically on silent. I can, my phone's loud as fuck, man. <laughs> That's why. Oh, fuck. Do you know what? Mine's lives on silent. I, I don't think I've ever had it on normal. Like. Question for you, right? How did deaf people know there's somebody at the front door? Their dog. <laughs> what happens if they don't have a dog? I think we, uh, I think we talked about this before, actually. Did we? <laughs> I was on the podcast, which is in general. On the podcast. <laughs> Because you then I went to, or I don't know, but how, uh, fuck. Like, how, how, if you're sitting there doing your dishes or something, and there's some guys fucking ringing your doorbell? I don't know. Like, you know yourself. If it was me, I would, ha- instead of a doorbell, I would have a door light with all the lights flickering. I've so always worked for you, so your back's turned in. I but if all the lights start flickering, you're still In your house? It. Fucking poltergeist uh, or something? Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. I don't actually know. Google it there. Find out. <laughs> You've got a computer in front of you. I know, but that's too far to reach over the fucking the, the table. And if I knock cables out, then I'm not being held responsible Just for this. see from now so. on, set it right in front of you so we can pull shit up. See, I've done that, but then you're losing half the screen. And people want to see our lovely desk and our fucking bellies. <laughs> what am I looking for here? How did deaf, how did, <laughs> how did deaf people hear the door? Well, at the, they don't hear the door. Yeah. How the deaf people know there's someone at the door? No, there is someone at the door. It sounds like a really shit joke. Uh, you're good at them. Oh, I'm, br- <laughs> I'm brilliant. Oh, I've been teaching the kid all uh, the shit jokes. <laughs> so we went in there yesterday. She's getting ready for a bath. I was like, what did the policeman say to the tummy? It's like, what? It's like, you're under a vest. Here. <laughs> What's the only part of a vegetable you can't eat? The elbows. The wheelchair. <laughs> I love how I, I was going for that. I knew, I knew you weren't talking about vegetables. Like, so why is this t- talking about Bitcoin? Oh, you were right. Lights, apparently. See, not just a pretty face. In addition, the lights they also. All right, so they've got. You can either have lights or some sort of like vibration device. Maybe it's like whenever you go out for <laughs> yeah. dinner and they give you that wee thing to say your table be ready in half oh, an hour and like, fucking buzzes. She's got a vibrator in her family. <laughs> like, oh, someone no. hit the door. Like, telling the kids I love me. I love when you play knock the door, r- ring a bell and run away. <laughs> She's in there calling Oh, you bloody oh. kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. So here's, here's one for you, mate. This is, I think this was fucking one of those moments in life. It doesn't matter how well you tell this story. It'll never do it justice as much as it was watching it unfold in real life. So me and Nicole's first date, and she she took herself off to the bar or something to get more drinks. And she just we interrupted me. I remember. Of course, you, you interrupted me. <laughs> for fuck's sake! I remember you brought Nicole out for the first time, and we were all like, "What the fuck? You're punching by?" <laughs> I, do you know what? Every single like person that I've nah, met you're, you're quite you're, you've changed it up a bit but see back then you were well bad like you didn't get your hair I cut I was a full tramp you, you went and got your hair cut like once every six months yeah and I Easy, cut it like. <laughs> <laughs> I just shaved it off fucking mad <laughs> made it save me money on fucking buying Willie nah, Huff that's, that's well exactly <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, she went off to get drinks and there was a a group of people sitting behind us in the booth and uh, they were leaving and I Realized that they were deaf because they were either they were either deaf or in a gang because they were like throwing gang <laughs> signs in them. So they uh, they were <laughs> they were saying cheerio in their sign language and all that there. And as they left, the deaf person left. They they left a coat or something in the booth, and all her friends who had been sitting with her the whole night, who would signed goodbye to her, started going, "Mary, Mary." Mary! Cherry, how does your garden grow? Hi, but mate, why the fuck are they shouting to a deaf person? The know she can't hear. And then someone ran up and gave her a wee tug in the coat and she turned around. Oh, the coat she forgot that, but you know what I mean? I think, like, how can you sit with people and be your friend and then be like, Hey, you! Here! Come back here, you! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Wait, do you see a video on fucking tic- TikTok all where the wee kid has no arms and it's doing the karate chops with her foot, right? And she's like, <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere really dark with that, but that was that was funny. Oh, like, mate. and it was so innocent. Like, uh, no, I mean, I but mean, he did it so well. I think, oh, oh dear, we hug. <laughs> oh fuck! Amazing. Whenever I watched it, me and her were in bed, and me and her were rolling about mm. the bed, because it, like it's, it, it, it was no harm just done. Do like, it every uh, child, he's used to that. Like, that's probably the fifteenth child in the last yep. twenty minutes. It's hilarious. There was the there was one from there was girls from here done it, and I thought it was it was class. 
um, with, ah, with, with the with no hand ah, or her hand, whatever. I, I it like is. to talk to her actually. She got that was, on the show because she makes light of that. Like that was funny as fuck because you were watching it going right. How are you gonna do this? <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> fucking played. Well played. That's it. You have we as a fellow we stood on but with DD one wing. You call him. <laughs> he wasn't really a main man, but like he was like within our circle. And he only yeah. had one arm. What he done when he was a kid is down the butchers. He put his arm in a fucking mincer. Jesus! And from there down, so he had like the stump. I mean, see so his boy driving motorbikes and all. Well, honestly, like fucking one, two, five motorbikes could drive him, wheelie him, no problem. Like Re- really good at doing one hundred. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Did he one wing? But he, he was one of the nicest fellas ever. Like, but he he, did, he didn't let it bother him. Aye. Just fucking got on my life and. I mean, anything we were doing, he was doing. Obviously, he wasn't great goalkeeper, like, but <laughs> never reaching that top Sorry, corner. Dude. But he was, he, 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 again, see if you have a, a, an ailment like that, you just fucking have to play on, like, and give it. Well, that's it. You either you, you just fucking take what life gives you, and you either make some of it, or you can sit and wallow and just be like, "This isn't fair." That, I sit that in your fucking house and gurn and cry. Oh, why me? Just fuck that. Get you, can, you still make change with no arms. Just get like a wee stick in your mouth and go. Uh, it'd take forever. You'd be like copy one of the paste, fucking copy naughty paste, birds. Copy and fucking... paste, copy. Could you imagine copy and paste and a couple of bars of kicks? <laughs> and, then, and then you get that, and the, uh, the last lines off by like a fucking it, like <laughs> half a bit, like a, what, a millisecond that's off, and you're like, fuck, fuck it, don't even make this chain uh, anymore, delete. I'd not be back. Nah, fuck, that's, that's what scares you most. Imagine not being ever being able to do this again. No, some sometimes I just wake up and go, "Fuck, I'm still doing this." <laughs> <laughs> I kid, of course. I uh, know, I, I, but I, I, that would fuck, that would kill me. Like, Cause that's as I just talked about it before, but I like it's the fuck. You I'm, really do know how to bring the tone of this podcast down every no, week, but like, it's don't like, you? It's like you, you find some way to bring it down to some fucking You were the one brought story. up about people who are deaf. How they answer the door? I know, but that was just a curious <laughs> wee fucking thing that I wanted to know. You're now talking about, oh Jesus, if I fucking woke up and lost all my arms, this is how I would feel. No one fucking cares how we would be feeling in this hypothetical <laughs> situation. They want us to talk shit to them and then fuck off. That's I'm, it. I'm telling you that I would break. My heart. I'm Do you not want to listen to my heartbreak? <laughs> 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 Fucking uh, stamp it and put it in the next gen. Uh, <laughs> this is when his arm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a bit more <laughs> reverb on that, would you? Uh, it needs to be a wee bit more tighter. Tight? <laughs> it's not even on my fucking arm. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, fuck. The child got hit up the face in, in school today. That was quite funny. <laughs> funny <laughs> well it wasn't funny it's just because i knew the way she gets on so that the the teacher had to send back an accident report to say what the the crack was and because no nicole no nicole has done the fucking job for so long she always likes reading yeah accident reports when the teacher's been involved because they're like hi how, how did you word this and i'll read between the lines so what happened was the teacher was holding a wee chair and ruby was behind her and she turned around didn't know ruby was there and just whacked her in the face <laughs> I oh, no, but it, it, was it, sure it, like, no, huh? she, it was she didn't tell me anything. It was Nicole told me. I, normally, whenever you ask Ruby something about her day, well, she could have 20 things that went class, but she dropped a leaf down a drain, and that's the only thing. What did you do today? I lost a leaf. Oh, none of the nice uh, things? No. And I was I was trying to push her to say she'd tell me. So, what did you do in school today? Oh, I went down a slide. Oh, that's cool. Did you, did you play with any of your friends? Yeah, me and Frankie played chases. It's like, oh, right, okay, yeah, dead on. Do you anything else? Oh, we drew pictures and all this here. It's like, tell me about you getting hit up the fucking face with the shower, maybe. <laughs> like, did anything bad happen to you? Mm, See, it wasn't in her head. It wasn't a bother. Oh, no, it didn't, it, it didn't bother at all. But it's because I can just picture her just being there because she's been asked to be like the wee leader the last few days. And she's like, I'm being a helper. And just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> She'd laugh like, but it's, yeah, it's funny. Uh, it's, no. it's one of those life lessons we uh, learn. Maybe I need to back up a few feet here. I stay away from the church. Yeah. <laughs> All right, an update on ISIS football. They win 3 0 on Wednesday. They did? Uh-huh. Bollocks. And they got beat 2 1 on Saturday morning. Oh, right, okay. So there is improvement. Well, here, no, that's, uh, that, that's definite improvement. As I say, the last one was like 27 0 or something. Yeah. I lost count after like fucking 15. I was just, fuck me. But no, there's that. I don't know how it was they're improving or they're playing kids more on their level. Like, right. But it was a lot more competitive. We're, they were playing Solitude, no Clippenville's ground. Oh. Right. It was class, man. I was sitting in the stand. Was that, was that before Shorefest, wasn't it? No, that's Seaview. Oh, right, uh, okay. Cliftonville is uh, obviously the Ravels. So oh, well, I've just annoyed uh, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Crusaders. how much I pay attention to football. Crusaders is uh, 
sea view uh, right, that okay. thing. But she went down, and when we were walking down, it's, it's you know what I mean, shit football stadium right. falling apart, but it's a proper football stadium. And we we're walking in, she she was standing up, she went, it's a real bitch. <laughs> It'd like, be fucking mad uh, though for, for uh, a kid to step out and not be like, nah, no, but fuck. obviously there's like I'd 50 broke, matches. Down, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was sitting in the stand watching her, like a fucking in the Linfield, where Linfield fans would sit, watching her play football on the pitch. Uh, I was loving it. Proud but dad like, moment. Uh, it's class, mate. But, uh, Did I, she score any? No, she hadn't. She hadn't scored yet. She only hit the post the first match she played, but she hasn't. Aye. She's getting better now. That's how I told her. I was like, I should see instead of just running after the ball, like say you're not sure. I was like, see this lane? Mm-hmm. Walk up and down that lane. If someone runs a ball, or so that's what she was doing. She was just sort of like up and like going back and forward in front of her goal, really. But she just again, the kids don't understand. There's a couple of kids in her team that look really good, like. But again, it's the passing side of it and the understanding yeah. of the game, like. But that's but that's not what football is at that age. It's about joining a team and team building and yeah, all that there shit. And then you then once you like are like I like this, then you start progressing. To, yeah. to learn this is what you actually do to play football you don't need the ball for the whole like half an hour uh, that you're playing that's it that's it June or something just started but uh, you can see a couple in there that are fucking going to be really good if they stick at it like and is it, is it mixed or is it all girls all girls uh, her team's all girls Shankill Shankill is it Shankill ladies they call them Shankill United ladies or Shankill United women I think right, something okay. like that but uh, they've got their own kit no, but see, see when they won the match she was exactly the same as she came in in exactly the same mood, ex- everything, than oh, even like the matches she could yeah. beat. It, 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 she doesn't understand. Oh. But I was going, yes, you fucking won. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want me to score in that? Uh, fuck yeah. Oh, I had a fucking back on there, but we had dude around the back. Yeah, I was going to say, can you not go down to like, some book? He's in the shack. one, but like, here, I want to bet my kids football. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Sure, there's someone on. will take someone that bet. Someone will take that bet on the shack. I'm like, fuck's sake. I know. I haven't done a bet in a while, actually. Now you say it. I used to love another bet. Until you start to speak to your mortgage about it. Oh, I don't I'll start losing. <laughs> nah, no, I haven't actually done a fucking good bet in a while. We'd love to win one, like. Nicole's fucking great at picking bets. Uh, lucky. Like, <laughs> I, like, she, no, she doesn't win, but see for somebody who doesn't have any knowledge of any football, see if you went down and read her out a list of teams, if you'd done a 15-fold accumulator, she's getting 14 of them. <laughs> like it's annoying as fuck because she gets so many right and you're like right see the next time we'll do it we'll leave one off so instead of doing 15 you'll do 14 so only 13 will come uh, up yeah, <laughs> but you're still like that's fucking impressive for you to just randomly guess all these teams like, like there's people who get into this and like oh and they're playing well and they've got this fucking right, schematic all this and all that here and he's like uh, I like the name of that team I uh, like the name uh, of that one I they, they fucking give us one of them like like horse racing, fuck's sake. People people that stick horse ra- money on horses because of the name of their kid or something. They always come in, and then you've got these concert and the fucking bookies like every cr- day getting Christmas cards uh, from the jockeys uh, and all because they do them that well. <laughs> so can well. Speaking of bookies, you see your man got fucking stiffed up West Belfast. Who? I don't know. Fucking went in. I think he was in the bookies and shot him six times. Bollocks. Fucking ah uh, yesterday. Again, bringing it back to the point of how you really like to bring <laughs> the tone down here, but I'm more curious now. So uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Was what it a robbery? Or no, no, it was. It was just someone. I think it was that Kennegan gang from down south. Fucking hell! Oh, I made the walk then. Fucking, I don't know what his bookies are about. It was maybe someone with him called Bookie or who he was a Bookie, but two of them got shot. I'm, I'm, I need the <laughs> I, 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 I said this to you coming over and I've said it previously I love how you give stories as dead fact and as I've always said to you the more confident you sound uh, the bigger the lad is you you read like two lines of it and make up your own story I didn't read it and the more you it. get proved about it you're like I don't actually fucking know anything about it. I listened to a WhatsApp message of someone Jeez, there. He goes, oh, I was in with my dad doing a bat and they come in and they shot fucking I can't remember Foxy or something his name was they shot him, and then fucking, oh, I, but apparently they, they hit someone else, who he said bookie, which makes me think the bookies, but then I've seen jokes after, people saying, oh, apparently our bar's cheap, you buy fa- you buy one pint, you get six shots free. <laughs> How do people come up with these jokes so know. quick? So that's what makes me think it was a bar, but I don't know, actually. But you started out that story, uh, did you hear about the guy in West Belfast, you get shot in a bookie's? And now I have pulled <laughs> the story of said that's why I think it's a bar. Uh, but it was after that I realised I went, oh that joke. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Jesus. But mate, fucking madness, mate. Like imagine that. Are we country? It's way, well, isn't it? I know. For those that aren't in uh, Northern Ireland, here's bungers. <laughs> I know, but it's it I think it's more mad the fact that we we're just so blase about it. Like 
people are like, oh my God, like bombs and shit. And you're like, I don't know, but that's just a fucking inconvenience night of my day. There's going to be traffic. Uh, Roads are going to be closed. It's not even going to be a real mate, fucking All you day. see under the post too is, oh, you don't get shot for now. You know what I mean? Like people just well, that's, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't that's know. That's true. It's not it's not like America or anything where they just run about and fucking kill anybody. At least uh, over here there is some sort of mob mentality. Justice is like they're not they're not there because you've done uh, nothing. If you, if you get your arms We and legs all know broke, the rules and uh, how it fucking works. If someone gets their arms and legs broke, someone gets kneecapped, like everyone just goes oh, It's for a reason. Like, what you've you done do, something. <laughs> now whether that thing deserve was we don't, deserving we don't of that or not. It being done, uh, but you know that there's there's been a reason for that happening. It's not just somebody's fucking randomly be like, oh, I don't like the fucking colour of your shoes, I'm gonna do you in. Because <laughs> you're a crip or a blood. Die. The bloods and the crips and the KKK. What team is that out of? I have no idea. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Any any more you want to drop there for us, uh, Slim? That was good. You stuck this wee hoodie on, all of a sudden you're fucking uh, Slim Shady reincarnate. A sponsor of the show. Get that. Go and buy some. Want me to edit, like, zooming in, like, uh, fuck there. Woo! Die. Fuck's sake. So, yeah, what else has been new with you? I haven't been fucking done in here. That was the only thing controlling my mind the last fucking five years. You've guess. definitely done a good eye job. Like, oh Are fuck, I never even noticed that you put the the foam the whole way along in the roof. Uh, Let's only just realise not now. That's a good job. I need to take here. I need to fix about here. <laughs> Too close to the light. <laughs> so I need to take it out. Oh, I, I, I didn't realise until I turned the lights on. Because the lights were off and I had the <laughs> like, lights on. Like, What's that smell? Oh, fuck me, it's too close. But uh, no, fuck me, loving it. We're going to have some fun in here now. We are. And there's plenty of room behind us, too. That yeah. was the problem the last time, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I hope it looks good on the camera. No, I, I, well, it looks good from here. Uh, it's it's weird good. being able to see ourselves here. Uh, well, no, I keep looking at it <laughs> and I'm fixing myself. <laughs> oh, oh, do I look okay for the camera? Do I look okay? Uh, fuck's sake. But nah, I mean, I'm buzzing about this event. Like, see, it's because the early birds and all went so quick, man. I'm like, this may actually work yeah. well. Like, I'll come up with a few ideas for the scavenger hunt. Right. Great topic. I was going to bring that up and forgot. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, so, one of the ideas I have is you have to get some random punter. I'm, I'm, I'm toying with two ideas because it depends on how mad you want to make it. So, you, you have to sing a song with a stranger in the city centre and video it. Yeah. Or, you have to convince a stranger to sing Happy Birthday do your mate into this video because you know what I mean if you go up to somebody and go I'm doing a scavenger hunt sing a song and we'll be up for it but like you can't tell them you're doing a scavenger hunt you have to walk up and just convince somebody here would you just take a video with me to say happy birthday to my mate ah uh, but we'll have to make clear it's we're going to do good praises for this to entice people to do it yeah you have to do good something like you obviously stroll about with us all night me the daro fucking free drink in the, the green yeah. room full access all areas in the club and then but you're going to have to work for it you're going to have to you're going to have to run about Belfast one day for a couple of hours <laughs> yeah so we, we joked about it in the last podcast um, over over the week the idea has sort of settled yeah. the, the seed's been planted the roots have now grown and yeah so we're going to do a scavenger hunt um, it's we're, we're, what are we going to do? We'll do. We'll we'll be able to pick it. All this like we share or whatever on Facebook. Detail. Yes, but we're going to and pick. that's how you get entered into it. And there'll be ten people yeah. pick, selected at random, and those ten people will then be in for the chance to win whatever the prizes may be at the time. There'll be a list of things that need to be achieved within yep. a set time limit. Yeah, and you guys just get to run about the town and be a bit fucking. And mad. so it's going to be stupid shit too, like, but it's going to be fun and it'll be a laugh and we'll all yep. have a day out. And uh, again, the prizes will be they'll be top drawer. You'll be looked after. You'll be looked after the way Daro's being looked after at the event. Fuck's sake! I'm not even getting looked after uh, that well. Jesus. Well, may, well, maybe even let you run about with like the Daro. <laughs> he'll he'll allow it. <laughs> I love yeah. how you're making all these promises without uh, even checking. Nah, no, because I can run about with us all day, and uh, you can see how things go. Maybe no fucking way. babysit the kids. Uh, <laughs> fucking trip the Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> One of the bookies right, running there. I fucking have to go pop back. One, of, one of the prizes. <laughs> away, away down there and pick up DJs from uh, the airport. Well done, you. I, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great, that's a great <laughs> prize. <laughs> oh, 
works. But you have to pay for the fuel now because you say that they're going to be fucking well looked after. Uh, you you put yourself in. As the... long as it's a diesel, plenty of red there. <laughs> but there is there's there's lots of different Remember fun wee things. Remember me and you went there a diesel place, or it wasn't even me and you, it was my mate. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, my mate went to a red diesel place. <laughs> Drove in the fucking peelers. <laughs> you know, you said this in the first episode, and you also done the exact same thing. Then it was the it was the the, the episode test run. Was it? Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Well, then by all means, go ahead and tell us a story uh, about your mate. Funny as fuck. And then me and not me and Dave, my mate. Dave. <laughs> You're not very fucking good at this. My mate and Dave. My thing, mate and Dave, and then about a couple of weeks later and your mom was there and he's like oh mate fucking bastards <laughs> got me for no VAT but I just jumped over the wall and away didn't they what was he like <laughs> my mate I, I, it, was him te- it was him telling me <laughs> <laughs> I love you, I love like I know it's my story and all but you tell it so much better uh, fuck it was funny as fuck and there, there's a skip place in the place and my mate he was like <laughs> the peeler says what are you doing he's like oh mate I'm looking to skip man <laughs> Oh, you're an old person. And the peelers said, they made away you go. Don't worry about it, our kid. <laughs> and off, off, off me and your mate drove. Uh, you, you and my mate drove away. And, and he rang me straight off. I was like, mate, I'm crazy. <laughs> You'll never believe what just happened to us, mate. Do you mind if I call around for a cup of tea? Uh, sorry if I tell that story. <laughs> oh, you're so bad at that. Quick thinking, though. He's, he, had, he was really quick thinking, like, because he really got dipped. <laughs> I don't know if he wasn't looking to skip. That rhymed. I see. <laughs> I can't take that seriously. The whole dipping term, I get dipped because uh, all I think about is Roger Rabbit and the stuff that they fucking kill the tunes uh, in the dip. <laughs> Fuck, I haven't seen that in years. Remember that? Oh man, I love Roger Rabbit. Roger Rod, Roger Rabbit, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, and Alice in Wonderland. Top three Disney movies. Bosh. Alice in Wonderland. Fucking yeah. That would also probably explain a lot about why I am the way I am. If they're my favorite three Disney <laughs> movies, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. I don't, I is... don't even recall Alice in Wonderland. No, I was actually about to launch into a full tirade of you, be like, you have to watch, you don't have to watch it, it's fucking just a good old show. The new, the, the real life action ones are shite, it has to be the cartoon one. Is that the one where, explain it to me. Alice in Wonderland. Mm. Right. I'm being deadly serious, I don't, is that the one where like the, the they have the big, the big table, uh, and, Aye, all and they all have, you remember that, uh, that? the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Mad Hatter, that's and the, exactly the, 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 the Queen of it. Hearts, Queen of, uh, off with their head, and all this here. They paint the roses red and all that shit. Yep, I know what you're on about now. Sorry, it was genuinely, I was going, hmm. I was thinking of the Seven Dwarfs, fucking Snow White there, and all that. I was going, what the fuck? That's Alice and the, the Seven Dwarfs, that sounds like a different movie altogether. Uh, it sounds like a good porno. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends what you're into, I suppose. Uh, fuck me. Seven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not equal to it. <laughs> I cannot help myself. Well, no. We only got the studio done, and we'll be cancelled tomorrow. Well, that's alright. We're we'll, we'll be cancelled on the podcast, not be cancelled making music. <laughs> that's that's it. We're quite free, and we we are sort of independent as well. When you think about it, we're not. Really we're, not we're not sort of independent. No, we, we are. are. Uh, we are. We're not tied to anyone. No, there's we, a lot of people that are in bed. And, you know what I mean, like we're genuinely. Do you want to finish that sentence? There's a lot of people in bed. <laughs> 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 of course, that's like saying at the end of the day it's dark. Fuck uh, me. No, there's a lot of people in bed with. Uh, like their their whole brand is in bed with other brands and other like agencies and stuff. Yeah, obviously it's good in a way. Like if, if your agency's pushing you, but we also it's like we're we're truly independent artists. Like as the, clo- as the clothing like brand says, uh-huh. we do what we want. Do what we want. <laughs> Shout out to do what we want. Check their uh, do do what you want, mate. I do what I want. <laughs> 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 nah, no, uh, but it is. It's like it's uh, it's cool that we've done there obviously if big agency come in we'll be like alright <laughs> no, we're talking to people in the background <laughs> like, delete, delete that please, fucking please sign us please sign us <laughs> but uh, I don't even mean like booking agencies in that regard but as in like releasing music and everything we're we're not under contract with anyone Yeah. when it comes to that we we'll have the freedom to do what but we again, will we've been freelance. given advice on that from, from people within the scene who are a lot further along than we are and that's one thing they said through speaking with other artists. Once they signed to their dream label, they then realised that the dream's a bit shit because you've got to pay for the artwork that they make uh, for you and you've got to pay for the videos. And you're tied into like a three-track deal and they pretty much can say as and what they want to keep and change in your tune. Yeah. And it doesn't become your music anymore and it's just a commodity. Like That's what John's been good with us. I know we're not contracted for keeping it away, but like we send him stuff. 
and he never ever says see the stuff he doesn't like he's just like not for a label or doesn't even say anything but it's like yeah. he doesn't come back and say change this if he likes it he takes it there's no he has no input yeah. in anything that we do and th- that's the way it should be mate you know what I mean you should be able to and, and then he, also I, that would annoy me if I sat and worked really hard over a tune and then you done your bit and we fucking fine tooth combed it and we were both like yes this is good and you sent it to someone they're like ah oh, it's good but it'd be better if you'd done this, this, and this. I would quite happily say thanks for your time. Maybe another one. Yeah. Because this is we make music for how we like it. Yeah. And people seem to like what we like. But if you then start chopping it and changing it, it's not phase two. I for it's the, the phase two featuring A and R representative here, uh, fucking yeah. publisher here, this guy, that guy. Like even if you're getting royalties off the other shit. Your royalties start in minus a couple of hundred Aye, pounds because, because you've and paid the, all the fucking yeah. artwork and promotion and all that shit. I mean, see some of the ones I've been told. Catch twenty two. See some of the ones I've been told, like where it's like the, they're on this fucking label and they're getting like the, the tune say makes fucking few hundred pound, but it still didn't even cover the price of the artwork or yeah. fucking. Uh, I mean, fuck and that. again, you see them taking advances. A lot of people taking big advances, and then that's them. That's, that's oh, you, well, you're, you're paying you're, that off. You're so you're someone's lackey then. Oh, aye. It's not your career anymore. It's your career on behalf of whoever you money. They're to. taking a piece of your fucking uh, gig money. They're taking a piece of everything. Now I I get it. I yeah. Completely get it. See if you are a, like a singer, like I mean Ed Sheeran for example. You're coming out. You're going like no. I know I'm like I'm going to be huge. I'll take that hundred thousand yeah. pound advance and pay that off. I get that there, but in electronic dance music, it doesn't seem a, it but doesn't see, seem right to me. I I. Uh, I agree with everything that we have said, but on the flip side, after speaking to Randy, um, whenever we were six, I we were talking to him about uh, zombie, mm. because your girl from the Cranberries had just passed away, and was yeah. like, it must have been mad for you, because you've done the tune, you met her in person to go and speak about royalties, and obviously all that was settled, so he could release it, and she got whatever she was getting. I think they but got the full heap. I they got the full heap, but as he said. She might get all the royalties from it, but the amount of gigs he's got off the back of that one tune more than uh-huh. pays for itself. I and that's, when he that's us the flip side of the coin when you're looking at it. You're like, yeah. yeah, well, you might sell your soul to the devil for a few things, but if you hit the nail on the head, your gigs are going to fucking fly through the roof. Your price tag goes up, and who gives a fuck about we 50 pays on track it down? Uh-huh. Our big port. <laughs> as it is now, show me uh-huh. age again. Oh. You put that on silent. Oh, it's my alarm. Oh. Is alarm to remind them to do something? I do. I have to. What was my alarm for? Oh, it was my alarm for uh, oh. tickets to the child's dance recital on Banner. Oh, right. Did you, st- did you start the NI Stars? Yeah. yeah she's done it. Three, three weeks she's been on it now. Nice. So that's Is that what the tickets are for? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I didn't go, but how I got the videos, I was in Barcelona whenever uh, that... Her, her I thought you said a few shows ago you wanted to be the best dad ever. That's fucking. Uh, so uh, we're, 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 uh, we're trying to get. I was trying to get her to FaceTime us when we're at the race. Right. Okay. It, the fucking internet was shit, so I was getting her off. And uh, but it made Heller was dreading going, and she she brought I think she brought my ma, her ma, and my wee brother and Chloe. Aye. And she was genuinely dreading going. Going. Oh, this is gonna be one of these things. You're just sitting there. Says it was fucking outstanding. Yeah. Obviously, the kids do their thing, but then there's all older ones that are really good at what to do. Says it was a proper show, like Aye. it was fucking brilliant. So, I'd probably see you at that one. I will know. I think her ones, just for the wee tots. Right. So I don't know how it all works either way. Well, and she, I she just won that like time. It was all the kids together, but again, maybe the, the I younger, just see that now. That whenever she sent us, they told us you pick for your child, pick this show on this day. So yeah. I would imagine if, because there's four shows over four days, so I would imagine if it was going to be all of them, then they would have said, ah, you can pick whatever show you want to pick from for your child. Ah, right, but right, unless right. they, once you get out of the top class, then they all are yeah. doing it. But ah. she loves it, mate. And, and thanks for, for pointing us in the direction of it. Ah, I mean, it's, that's, like that's she that's just comes out buzzing like fuck. Yeah, that's like, what, are, what are you even happy about? Like, I don't uh, know, life. <laughs> life. I get to dance for 45 minutes. It's amazing. Yeah, see, that's it. It's about stimulating them, what, yeah. the, what they want to do. It's the same I get the kids saying about R. Jacks, like, he's ha- he has dyslexia or something. And like, right. it's maybe I do. I've talked about this before, but I, you know what I mean, okay. But see, whenever he's doing something, he want an ADHD or something, they're trying to say, I'm like, nah. See, if you put something down in front of him yeah. that he really likes. He excels. Yeah. But see, whenever you're trying to get him to fucking write fucking the... But that, it's the trying to just 
gauge an interest in something as oh, you play right. once once you're locked in you're like i like this i'll do whatever the fuck you want but if exactly. you're bored as fuck and you don't really care you're just gonna I you're, you're teaching in a fucking boring stupid way so that's as uh, saying them and the, the, i think they've twigged on now i like that it is it's just more if you do if you do it in something that interests them so he has his teacher started like putting this was a couple of years ago like his teacher started doing like the five his numbers you no know, it's like times tables as like five nights of freddy stuff right okay and he was like oh right there's 10 freddy's yeah right. like doing association boom he was fucking smizing it but when you were just putting the numbers down he was like oh. uh, there's no there's no point to this you're just forcing me to do education work ah uh, what is it to say if you teach a fish if you if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree you'll always you think, think it's stupid you always yep. think it's stupid that's <coughs> I, think right. a, I think that's a fantastic saying it is the, the education system is fucking massively flawed Ah, uh, it's to teach you to sit in a fucking factory, yeah, in a in a mill or whatever you're doing, sewing, and that's what that's what it was for back yeah. then. It's different now. Like you, you probably don't even need to go to school. You could just like see me. But I no, went you to do, school. You do need to go to school. Like you, need you to learn do need your to have English and math. Yeah, I get but that. Not not extreme math. No uh, one, I, no one needs to know Pythagoras' theorem unless you're going to go and do a building course or something like something that re- requires that kind of math. And if that's the case then that's part of your fucking curriculum when you go there. As long as you know basic math, that's sweet. Uh, Same with English literature. Who the fuck cares what Shakespeare was eating on a Thursday because he wrote the line, <laughs> Oh, hark now, where art thy, Romeo? No one fucking cares unless you're going to do drama or something like that. But again, do it as part of your fucking course and don't force us all to have to fucking sit through it. I agree. It's like the basic stuff you need, yes. But see see me, right? Whenever, whenever I went to school, I, th- I came out with nothing like, yeah. I, I could speak I was about it I couldn't read couldn't count but see now I mean I'm pretty good at it because I decided I wanted to do it yeah. do you know what I mean and then all that what do you do you fucking go on Google you go on to YouTube you fucking you learn it that way and then reading books so what I first done was start reading books I was interested in yeah like conspiracies back then oh, right. <laughs> David Icke talking about fucking you were well down the fucking rabbit hole but that, that then that taught me to read <laughs> Rabbit fucking reptilians. Fucking reptilians. I can't smile. Hey, she oh. even on the like, what do, you, what do you call your man? It was from over here. He used to do all the talk shows back in the day. The Kelly show? Not Kelly. But you know, he, he done it in the UK. But he was he used to do all that. I can't, I'll never remember. Graham Norton? No. He's from Northern Ireland. Like, and uh, not Eamon Holmes. But uh, David Hake went on his show back in the day and said he was Jesus. Right. I was balls deep in this company and I was like, fucking yes, I read all his books. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I read all his books and fucking thought this is the best thing ever. You're so dramatic, sir. Mate, that was so as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I mean, he fucking, he literally went on and told the world that he was Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe he is. And I listened to him for years. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with you. <laughs> no, I, I, I enjoyed a good conspiracy myself. I just fucking hit my elbow again. What the fuck am I doing? The uh, There's one, th- uh, as I said before, as long as they've got enough plausibility, I can buy into it. The JFK one's the big one. Like. I don't believe that we were lizard people. No. That's a no he dick. believes like a queen no, were lizard people. I know, but I don't uh, believe in the lizard people shit. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the, I flat, too. the flat earth theory. I don't, I don't subscribe to that, bollocks. I've said before, I could get involved on an inner earth theory, but that would only be under certain precursors that I could believe in that shit. Nah, I don't listen to you. Not, I don't think so. I, th- I think there's more well, chance you've seen, of... Have you ever seen the caves that have entire ecosystems living in them? Because they have literally a centimetre hole at the top of it. Because one wee feed has come down, mist has come down, tiny bits of sunlight, and it's been like... It's the size of fucking half of New York. It's over in China or Thailand. I've seen one where it was like water underneath and had all these wee fish that never seen daylight. Oh, uh, I've seen something like that. But no, I get you. Either could be civilization, not civilizations, but there could be like ecosystems you say down or not entirely. Well, look, they've, they've, they've now found that the and now I'm, I I done geography to UCSE and I still can't remember this. Is it the mantle? It's the core, the fucking something, the mantle, and then the middle bit. It's lava. Yeah, the the rock that's beneath where the crust is whatever material that rock's made of it stores more water than all the world's oceans combined i don't know how they've done this i didn't look right. into the science of it i'm not going to be like you and be like i we, we fucking <laughs> barbara down the road actually done the math for me but whatever way they've done their scientists 
tests, it was uh, yeah, there's more there's more water in these rocks than there is on the surface of the planet. And they're like, well, maybe we don't really have to worry about fuck all. Maybe it's just all the water will fuck off into these rocks. <laughs> yeah. See, another thing, see, last week, mate, you fucking sent me down a rabbit hole and a rabbit hole that has got me itching under my skin because I can't find it. What was it? Do you remember oh, you asked me about your uh... woman, Sadie, the fucking uh... back from the dead? That doesn't exist. So he made it up? No, 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 no. <laughs> I watched this documentary. It was an hour and a half long. She exists. There's like things on Google. She's a real person. But I went on to Disney. I went on to BBC. Was it I, on the fast TV, or something? Fucking, I've done all that, mate. I've typed in every possibility and I cannot find this documentary because I wanted to show it to you. And it's now knowing the fuck out of me because I'm like, I watched it. I actually fucking watched it and I can't Are find you it. a lucid dreamer? <laughs> I am sometimes, thing. mate, but fuck me, I'm not that good. Like, oh, mate. I, I mean, I did start questioning my sanity for a minute. I didn't even go and look. I remember you saying about it on the way back, going, man, I can't find this here. When you were looking on your phone. I spent a week looking for it, mate. <laughs> Nicole came in to me the other night, and whenever I was sitting there, I was like, are you still looking for that? And she's like, ah, she goes, do you, do you feel like this? And I was like, ah, she goes, stop getting so fucking worked up about this. Like, <laughs> I'm not. It's just fucking annoying because now I'm I think it, I'm crazy. It, it's, didn't even, it's not even that you just said it to me. You said it to these couple of thousand people well, surely listening. someone out there has also ask fucking him. seen this uh, documentary ask him what do you call it I don't fucking know that's the problem I think it might be called from London to ancient Egypt do you know know what it is I bet you it's something like no like do you ever see them 60 minute videos it's called 60 minutes but it's oh like no it's not or spotlight uh, I it no, could be it on like something it wasn't like that. that I've made up I've, I've trawled every fucking thing that I have on all my devices that I would watch something on and it's not there <laughs> Just fucking. so you know, I, I don't give a fuck, like. I know, <laughs> but it's more, the more I couldn't find it, the more it was more for me uh, and not you. It's like, no, where the fuck is this thing? Angry as fuck, mate. It took up more time in my week this week than it really should have. Than making music? <laughs> it stopped you from fucking making music? No, mate. You... The subversion tune that was really good. I listened on the speakers last night. Oh, thanks. Very well, good job. They, uh, yeah, they sent the... The second or the second oh, drop he over. Said he sent me it I, um, Saturday, I think. Again, there wasn't really much I did to that. It was more just adding wee effects and fucking risers yeah. and sweeps and things that just sort of fill it out, wee fills and stuff. But there was not, again, structurally shined. Shi- uh-huh. That's that fucking half a ten of cards, but kind of structurally shined. So the fuck it is. Uh-huh. But uh, no, it was fucking good old tune. Still very dry too. We need to get the vocals. Need to go. Well, you need, have you got it there? Have you are you done one hundred percent now? No, <sighs> nearly. I would say ninety five percent. You could probably work on it. I'll just send you the channels. No, that's why I just finish it. No, mm, go all the I just want to work on it. There. I hate I hate doing that. And then you bring something in. And you're like, fuck. I need to pull that bell down. I need to change this. And then keep it together. Okay. And see see the contact. You, I think you give me the contact libraries. I did. But they're not I, in position because anytime I, I you was send me meant, a contact I thing, was it meant doesn't to, come up. I uh, know it doesn't work. Like that contact's a weird like fuck. It's like kick. nimble kick. But I actually, whenever I was sending it to you, I was meant to bounce everything down, and I was also meant to put something else in, and the one other thing to finish it. And then I think they came home from the park, and my solitude of silence got turned upside down and they load of madness in the house and I <laughs> forgot about what I was doing and just sent the pay. I done that, I told you. I mean I'd see you all week. I would go on right, I'd get on stream yards, no, so we can get guests on on the yep. thing. And every night when I lay in bed I went, Fuck see. I had plenty of time to do it. I ended up playing the fucking PlayStation and all I was like but then I would get in the bed and you forget. Yeah. You're like, fuck sake. But we'll so we'll look at this after we finish here and We'll see what... Uh, well, well, fuck, I'm going to get a McDonald's. I'm starving. <laughs> I've already had my dinner, but I'll join you. Of course you <laughs> will. sit in. We'll light a candle. <laughs> we tea tree candle. Uh, do you see, actually, we'll do, I want to do that next week. We'll do it. Do you see the tea tree candles? You put them under the... It's like a, a flower pot with a hole at the top. And apparently it heats the, the room up. Everyone's doing it. So like people are doing videos of their like thermostat. Thermostat saying 15 degrees. And then they put three tea tree candles underneath here and put the no on a plate. I mean, I'll say, and then they're going back to it and it's saying like 24, no, they're going back an hour later, saying 24 degrees. So I want to test it. We'll set it here, right? We'll light it and we'll see if it heats the room up. Do you know what Abraham Lincoln once said? Don't trust everything you read on the internet. No, it's about 100 videos I've seen of people doing it. Like, 
So I don't. I'm not trusting. <laughs> I love how that's the one thing. Uh, it's about I quit. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm not trusting it. I'm saying we will do a test. Right. So and you, see if it works. You want to put a candle under a plant pot. Three candles under a plant plant pot with a hole in the top of the plant pot. You have to. It's a certain plant pot. Honestly, we'll do the test is next this, week. Is, right? this, is this what you're suggesting to everybody? How you get through the fucking winter? Like, it's all right, guys. You don't need heat. Just fucking turn on three candles. You're and taking a me through pot. literally. I'm not suggesting this. Other people are. We no. will show them whether it works or not. Okay. If, that's, that, if that's what floats your boat. I want to be uh, a scientist, you see. Do you? <laughs> so did I. I don't have sex. <laughs> I'm already a professor. I don't have <laughs> anything to fucking say to you. <laughs> Jesus fuck. See, you need to fucking riff with me. There's loads of things. There's loads of places you could go there. Like your fucking sex. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say your fucking sex dungeon. <laughs> That's what in here is getting turned into. Uh, we're quit music. Christian Grey. Well, you've already got the fucking pod in it. Like. Uh, not here you scream out there. <laughs> Multi-purpose room usage. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Nah, fucking... I wonder how the event's going online. Don't know. We're going to have to wait another at least 10 minutes before you can look. Are you getting itchy trigger finger, are you? No, no. Just excited, man. Genuinely am. And uh, your man in the bot's actually been considering we to hold the fuck about. <laughs> He's been surprisingly good with us, aren't we? Gonna have to beep that now, fuck's <laughs> sake. Aye. Uh, you should put the other one in where I said again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy! It all how it all turned out. One day we'll explain, like what. Aye, when, when we retire and we're we can, we can shoot the shit and knock her. Story to tell about offending <laughs> anybody. Because <laughs> we do as much as we don't really care, they still have to tread carefully with certain I, things. It's, 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 you don't want to fucking you don't want to blow anyone up like. <laughs> but like the guy that got done in the bookies, which was actually a bar. <laughs> actually a bar, aye. Don't go Celtic. That's what it was. Don't go. Oh no, what were DC? Aye. That's still crazy to me, like. What is Life's mad. Oh, well, mate, that's just fucking living here, isn't it? Are we mad country? You <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. Fuck's sake. Took Jack's down there. Remember I told you last week I went down to a war memorial thing? Yes. Fucking was closed. So I took him down Saturday. It's the first Saturday of every month. Mm-hmm. Mate, it's literally a size as room. A, I wa- shit. a war memorial? Oh, I mean, it's like a museum, war memorial museum right. for World War Two. I was expecting at least a couple of floors. Like say, World War Two lasted a bit longer than the size I mean, of this I, room. I, I paid for two and a half hours parking, mate, and I was back in the car <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking raging. <laughs> Why did Fuck. you pay for such low parking? Because you <laughs> thought you were going to be there I for I was going to be there for at least an hour and then come out. Tap your parking up on your phone now. I don't know, man. I don't park in the town that often. Was, I just use no to be ones on the side of the road. You right. put your hang in. It wasn't that there, but it's not the point. I dandered in, mate. Where, where is it? Do you know uh, Do you know where Camel Market is? Yeah. So, like, so there's a Camel Market there. You come out and walk down. You no, know, that street runs down up beside St. Anne's Cathedral. Yes. There. Right, okay. Like, Jacks loved it. I was. I went in. Like, you no, know, like, had all the old uniforms. He was trying them on and fucking hang. And it, it just had, like, three exhibits of, like, two soldiers sitting, a woman making bullets or something, right. and then a, f- a fireman at the Belfast Blitz. Right, okay. That was it. And then I come out, and I was very disappointed, like... And uh, I, this I is my... Not, like, like, it's not even... It's, it's not their fault or anything. It's, that was my expectations oh, yeah. going in. I was expecting it to be way Typical better. Typical Sergi said your expectations too high. I'm always a low expectation set or two. But I went in, and I was like... As soon as I walked in, I just went and I looked about and I was like, "There's nowhere else to go." Aye. I was like, "Fuck!" And you're, there was two people in it, the worker, so they were on top of you. So like, it was like, oh yeah, another f- fucking three people. You in wouldn't this be room. operating that during COVID. Ah uh, fuck! So Jack's walked around. He was all biz, trying all the suits on with Andrew out, and he goes, oh, "I was class." And I was like, "This fuck is a bit disappointed." Like, and he goes, oh, "I wasn't that big, like, but it was good, wasn't it?" And I was like, "Well, that's fucking happy days as long as you like that." It. That's it. As long uh, as you had a good time. I feel like that's what fucking. The, the aquariums like uh, you sort of you get into your head you're like fucking yeah we'll go up and see a load of fish and all this here shit and then you go up and you're like oh well that was 20 minutes of my life that was uh, a lot quicker than uh, I thought it was going to be that one that one down there is terrible like, compared to like the Barcelona one the Barcelona one you've got fucking tiger sharks and all no f- Aye, over but the top let's be honest there's probably a lot more to go on I know 100% in, over in Barcelona but that's a, see that one in, in Puerto Ferry it's not actually that bad Aye, but it's, it's only stuff that you can get out of else. Fucking thing. No, no, they had. Oh, well, I suppose uh, they had. They I mean, had sharks and all that, like, but they're, they're dog, not like dogfish. I mean, they're not going to be like full extravagant things. There's not no. much fucking stuff floating about right the here. The best thing about it down there is the sea lions. 
Yeah. Or seals, whatever the fuck they are. That's but I, I agree with you. It, but it's at, and the, there's a crocodile too down there. But it's only about that fucking size. And this thing. Did you, did you ever see a video with him? The stingray, your man, or the well, Steve Irwin. No, your man puts his thing. I know he died on one like, but your man, he's it's just like a like a viral video. He puts his head down to feed like the stingray or something something out of his mouth. It must they must do it there. Right. And it flapped its tail, knocked him out, and he fell clean into the fucking. The pool. Where was this? It was on Facebook or whatever. I mean, that's a good one to watch. Google that. Stingray knocks man out. <laughs> Fucking crazy, like. <laughs> but uh, I mean, like, I don't know what what sort of health and safety would say. I just feed it from your mouth. Uh, health and safety only exists until you start paying money, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I say, well, we told you not to do <laughs> it. Who says that, Andrew Tate? <laughs> He does not. It only applies to rich people. What does health and safety? All anything. COVID rules. The fuck. It only applies to. That is true, though. Uh, Once you're wealthy, you can do whatever the fuck you want. That's why it's called fuck you money. When you're rich enough to have fuck you money, then the rules don't apply to you. And if they do, yep. then you get a wee slap in the wrist. And I, I and if it's a monetary, if it's a monetary, like if it's all like with fangs, as what he says. I'm not Andrew Tate, so don't quote me on this. It's Apparently, not me. I am. <laughs> okay. no, right, so what he's saying is, if 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 what it is is a fine, if the if you do something like speeding, what it, when you get caught, you get fined. Yeah. So you can speed if you're fucking multi multi millionaire, fucking speed as much as you want. Well, not the not to bend anybody's noses out of place here, but. Bruce Jenner killed a guy, got a sex change, and then was told, sure, we'll not prosecute you because you've been through it enough recently. <laughs> like, so that's how you get away with it. You just fucking be like, oh, well, I'm going to change. I <laughs> know. That's right. Yeah, that like he, that, like people, people forget about this. And like he, he won Woman of the Year for going through all that. And I've got nothing against all that. That's fine. But the fact that that guy got away with killing somebody... It's way because that. he just. But it's not even it's it's not even to do with it. Well, or it, because he became a female. I think it's yeah. It's money. Because he's uh, but he's such a right. high profile uh-huh. person. And it's like oh no no that's we we can't be fucking putting that wee blemish on your record, sir. Yep, that's the way it is, mate. And it, it's it, bad enough so that you were involved with OJ Simpson back in the day. Uh, whatever uh, all that question well, was. I don't, think, I don't think he was. The family was. I I bet he sure he married in after. Oh, aye, right. but it doesn't matter. You marry and you take the fucking uh, uh, gate with you, mate. See how OJ on Twitter now, fucking no. giving out fucking uh predictions of the you know, like the fantasy leagues and all right he's fucking mad man mate. No, mate, that's a weird story I didn't it what the OJ Simpson one a wee bit if but again we're not, we're not going to fucking dark <laughs> and we, we went too dark already mate fuck's sake we're like the dark web at this point now uh, uh, <laughs> stories. I don't know and just to go back I tried to find that video there to show you of your man but it, that's not coming up mate but it's funny as fuck maybe maybe you just imagine that one of the uh, <laughs> wait, hang on it's going to torture myself all night mm. trying to find it well, fuck's sake what are we at there we are at 58 minutes see I can oh, see that now because I'm fucking close, close that's it so what do you if, uh, do you think I'm talking to the people do you just like the way the new setup is this is going to be us for ever now and well then, until uh, Sergi fucking changes his mind again in a couple of months Smart that way, aren't I? You are. <laughs> I don't do things by half either, mate. Full tilt. The whole but you always have show. to change something. Like I'm surprised you've lasted so long with Heller. Like that, that's that's <laughs> the one consistent that's, that's you've the only had. Consistent like, of my you life. moved house so many times. You fucking changed your car so many times. This is about <laughs> the third edition of the fucking studio. Uh, like you can't. But you, sit with you're things. consistent too. You've been here the whole time as well. I know, but that's... I, I, Does anyone I, else want to join me as a Jew? <laughs> Andy Whippy. Oh, yeah. Yo, Andy, let's fucking go, big man. Here, and, uh, Andy's mine, not yours. Oh, I, take him. I put in the fucking hours there. <laughs> Kutsky, me and you, big man. Ah, fuck. We'll just get... I love how it's just by him selling me like that. Got him. You brought it up. In a heartbeat. <laughs> nah, but no, that's... I, I'm well, mate, but I, I, always, I always do things right, like... Or make mm. <laughs> I d- that's a very big statement to uh, make. I do things right. I do things th- as best as Sometimes, I can. Sometimes, like. yeah, you make things look presentable. Ah, uh-huh. make th- that's it. Good optics. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're good at the optics. Everything good else. making things look good. Yep. Everything else is a fucking disaster behind the scenes. It's like this is what I want to do. And then Dave will come along and fucking just like put a wee bit of brain power in it. Like, but look how pretty Mate, it is. I'm a, there, see, there's nerds and there's cowboys. I'm a cowboy. Cowboys get shit done. Nerds think of things. 
they finish the stuff at the end. Cowboys, we lead. There's your quote. Wow. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> let's Thanks, nah, guys. I know. Thanks for watching this week's show. The tickets are out for the Not Phase show now. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't already got it, go on over to uh, all the socials. You'll find the tickets for it. Um, give all the artists here on it a like. And yeah, uh, go and support them all. We'll get the event page up now. Obviously, we need to record this, so we'll have the not put it up yet but we'll leave all the links in the advanced page and we'll get please just go and support everyone buy your tickets support us we're really trying our best here do it do it do it I like to do it do it <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that's a tune it is uh, because I like to move now. it move it uh, it's a tune now but no please come and support us uh, we, we took a big risk doing this like so hopefully it pays off and uh, with your support it will so yeah please buy your tickets support all the artists and Ghetto will be out in a couple of weeks. Finally, uh, I mentioned it on the stream last night, yeah. but there was a oh, there was a couple of issues with it one there. But with her and I, it'll be the twenty Friday, the twenty first of October. It will be released. So watch this space. Watch this space. So thanks for watching. Yep. Yeah, Till next week. See you. Peace.